Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I am going to give you a brief demonstration of using the three major types of CSS positioning. We have CSS positioning. Basically, there are four main positions which you are going to use 90% of the time and they are static, relative, absolute and fixed positioning. In this lecture, I am going to talk about relative, absolute and fixed positioning. I will not discuss static because static is the default positioning of any HTML element. With that said, let us take a look at some examples of CSS positioning. I'll jump into the code editor and I'll show you some examples of CSS positioning. Okay, I will first go to index.html file and I am going to write some markup which will help us to understand an element positioning. I have to comment these example markups because I don't need them so we can focus only on element positioning. I am going to comment these example markup. By this way they will be ignored by the browser. To understand element positioning I am going to write some new markup and the markup is basically I want to create two boxes and I can create boxes with the help of HTML div element. I am going to write div with opening and closing tags and I am going to assign an id to this div. And the id for this div is parent underscore div. So it is going to act as a parent div. Inside this parent div, I am going to add another div or you can say child div. And I am also going to assign an id to this child div. And the id is child underscore div. And I am going to leave it empty. Okay, I have this simple HTML document and I have one div inside another div. I have child div inside of its parent div. Okay, I am going to hide the sidebar and I am going to resize the code editor and I am going to open this index.html file in live preview mode. So I will click on this live preview icon. By this way we can see both code editor and browser side by side. Plus, we can see the live preview of changes inside web browser. Okay. Now, I am going to style.css and I am going to add some comment inside style.css. And the comment is CSS positioning. Now, I am going to specify some width and height to these two divs which we just added to this index.html file so it will look like boxes. Okay. Let us do it. I am going to select the parent div and the id of parent div is parent underscore div. By now you are familiar how to assign an id to an element and how to select and apply CSS to an element using id inside CSS. I want to specify some width and height to this parent div so I can see it like box. I am going to specify the width and the width is 400 pixels. And I'm going to specify the height and the height is also 400 pixels. And I'm going to set the background color. And the background color is red. Okay, now we have this div which is actually parent div. And you can see the live preview inside the web browser. After that, I'm going to specify width and height for this child div which is inside the parent div. I am going to select the child div and the id value for that child div is child underscore div. And I am going to specify width, height and background color for this child div too. I will copy the CSS and I will duplicate them for this child div. For child div I want the width 200 pixels height also 200 pixels and the background color should be pink. And here is how it looks on the web page. We have this pink div which is the child div and red div which is the parent div. 
and we are going to position this pink div, the child div in different places on the web page using CSS positioning. Before I position the child div, I want to create some external space for this parent div. And you know how to create the external space for an element. For external spacing, we use CSS margin property. And I'm going to specify the top and bottom margin, 100 pixels and left and right auto. By this way, you can specify top and bottom margin and by this way, you specify the left and right margin. And this is going to create 100 pixels top and bottom external space and the auto means it will be automatically adjusted in the center of this web page. And now we have this red box in the center of this web page. Okay, let's start positioning this pink div. I will start with CSS relative positioning. I'm going to write the CSS position property and I'll set it to position relative. An element with position relative is positioned to its normal position. So keep that in mind. Okay, to use CSS position, you would use four positioning properties. The four positioning properties are top, right, bottom and left. Let us specify some of these properties. Let us do top 20 pixels and left 40 pixels. The relative positioning moves this child box to where it was without any CSS positioning. So it moves it from the top 20 pixels and from the left 40 pixels. So just remember when you say top 20 pixels, you are saying from the top, move it from the top 20 pixels. And when you say left 40 pixels, you are saying move it from the left 40 pixels. So let us change that left to right. So now we are going to move this child box 40 pixel right from its normal position. And we see that it goes outside of its parent div, this red div. So that is the thing with CSS positioning. It can take things out of its normal document flow that can sometimes cause problems, but it can also provide some powerful options for you and you can do some cool stuff with it. The next one is CSS absolute positioning. Now I'm going to set the position for this child element to absolute. I'm going to specify the position value and this time the position value is absolute. And let us do top 20 pixels and left 40 pixels again. So when I use absolute positioning, it positions this child div on the HTML page. I mean on your page from the top 20 pixels and from the left 40 pixels. Let us change that left to right. And we can see that it is positioned on this web page. But I can also position it inside of another elements. So if I wanted to position this absolutely inside this red parent div, all I have to do is to add position relative to this parent div. I'm going to add position relative to parent div. And as you can see, it just positioned this child div 20 pixels from the top of the parent and 40 pixels from the right of the parent div. So now we are inside here and you can see that many options would be available to you like positioning things within your footer, header or any other element on your web page. You could precisely position something absolutely and the key to that is adding position relative to its parent div. If I remove that position relative from the parent div, now you can see that it goes back to being relative to or in relation to this entire page. I'll bring back the position relative for parent div. And this is something which we will be mostly using for our solo website layout. So remember a page element with relative positioning gives you the control to absolutely position child elements inside of it. And I think this is the best example to demonstrate such absolute positioning inside relative positioning. This is also called absolute positioning inside relative positioning and we will be mostly using absolute positioning inside relative positioning for our solo website. So therefore I thought to first teach you such positioning before we jump into solo website styling.
Now elements with absolute positioning can be positioned anywhere we want inside their parent element. Okay, I am going to remove this relative position from the parent div. And I am also going to remove this position from the child div. Okay, the other one CSS position is fixed positioning. Now I am going to specify the position value as fixed on that child div. So this time the position value is fixed. We see that the child div is back in its static position where it would be without any CSS positioning. But if we scroll, okay, we don't have much content to scroll this web page. I need some scrolling. Let me add some temporary space so we can get the scrolling. I'm going to index.html file and under these boxes, I'm going to add some space. And for space, I'm going to use HTML break element. This break element uh, basically creates break. I'll duplicate it. Okay, now we can see the scrolling for this web page. I'll go to style.css and I'll be back to the point for fixed positioning. We have this child element which is position fixed and if we scroll it stays fixed in that location so when we are talking about fixed positioning we are talking about in relation to the browser window let me add some directional values for this fixed positioning let us do top 0 and left 0 only when you have zero, you can leave off the pixel unit. If you have zero, you don't have to use your unit of measurement. Okay, we see that we have positioned this child div zero from the left and zero from the top. So that is also something important which we will be using for our solo website. Like we will be making top fixed navigation and fixed background images for our solo website. Okay, I'm going to change that top to bottom. And you can see that the child div is in the bottom of browser window. So that is the difference. Fixed is in relation to the browser window. Absolute is on the page or inside its parent. And relative is relative to its position. I mean, normal place in document flow. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please ask. That was all about CSS positioning and I'm going to clean my style.css because we don't need the CSS. And I'm going to remove these boxes and extra space. And I'm going to uncomment this HTML markup. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in next class. Thanks.